propaganda. A Muslim, Arab, Palestinian, proud Canadian, living in Ontario. And he appealed to me to help me keep his father from going back to Gaza. His father's visitor visa was running out. And he said he can't go back, it's too dangerous. But what struck me was the reason he was afraid for his father to go home. He wasn't afraid for his father's safety as a result of Israel, but as a result of Hamas. His father had refused in years gone by to help terror financing in Gaza. And as a result, has never, never since been safe in his own land. That, my friends, is all you really need to know about Hamas. And that knowledge, and so much added to it by that terrorist organization itself, informs the position of the Canadian government. Prime Minister Harper took office, he determined that two things were going to be different in foreign policy. One, we were not going to come to rooms like this and say one thing, and then go to other rooms with different crowds and say exactly the opposite. And two, no longer would there be a false moral equivalence between terrorists hell-bent on homicidal destruction and modern liberal democracies that share our values. Wow. As, the, as the Consul General said, we share in the mourning of the loss of life of both Israelis and Palestinians. But here's the difference. We acknowledge Prime Minister Harper has boldly stated that 100% of the blame, all of the blame, rests at the feet of the Hamas terrorists who instigated it. It is these Hamas terrorists who initiated a thousand missiles targeted specifically and deliberately and Israeli civilians. It is these Hamas terrorists who killed Israeli teenagers. It is these Hamas terrorists who refused the opportunity for a ceasefire which was proposed by an Arab country and accepted by both Israel and the Palestinian Authority. It was these Hamas terrorists that decided that they would use their own civilians as a blockade to protect their weapons. Israel uses weapons to protect civilians. Hamas uses civilians to protect weapons. There are many great ironies in this conflict. The one that has struck me the most is the origin of these missiles. I visited northern Israel about a decade ago, and literally witnessed with my own eyes Hezbollah missiles, Katusha rockets, coming across the border from southern Lebanon into northern Israel, killing, tragically, an Israeli te uh, teenager. Now we see the same coming from the south. This is nothing new. But what is most interesting is that Hamas cries with its rhetorical slogans of end the occupation when these missiles are coming from places from which Israel voluntarily withdrew many years ago. We know what they mean, Hamas, when they say end the occupation. They mean that they want to remove all Israelis from the Jordan River to the Mediterranean, from Haifa and Golan all the way down to the Red Sea. You cannot negotiate with those whose singular purpose is your absolute annihilation. And yet, we have hope. Canada's principal position is and will always be in favor of a democratic and demilitarized Palestinian state and an independent, vibrant, and secure Israel. We will, we will advance that position by taking moral positions 
on the international stage. We will condemn the terrorists who instigate this type of conflict. And we will do that because we want to see the peaceful outcome that I just described and for which the Israeli and the Palestinian people have long hoped. And I know that all of you are feeling dispirited at this time. As you look at the Aboriginal homeland of your, the Israeli people, and you reflect upon the torment that they are suffering. But let me just say this. Let me just say this. <coughs> the dustbin of history is filled with those who have tried to do harm to the Jewish people. But the vibrant nature of that people always overcomes because its values and its instincts are fundamentally good and strong. And for that reason, Israel and the Jews are among the only people of, uh, that I am familiar with who continue to worship the same religion, speak the same language, follow the exact same traditions on the exact same land as 3,000 years ago. So it is. So it has been. So it is. And with Prime Minister Harper and a strong Canada, so it will always be that you will have a friend in this land as you protect your land.